and has significantly increased the good number of parents and guardians now enrolling their children in, it, in IT courses. This demand has seen the courses cost an arm and a leg, barring many from accessing the skills. But as Edward Chwea tells us, a pair of young IT experts has created Chapter Global, a platform offering income share agreements, that is ISAs, and flexible fee options to low-income students looking to pursue coding skills. Made in Kenya, brought to you by Equity. Are you members of a Chama and are running a business? Achieve your business goals through Pamoja Group Loan of up to 10 million shillings. No collateral required. You will also receive free financial and entrepreneurship training. Visit any Equity Bank branch to apply. Jessica Ranja and Cyril Michino were IT students in 2020 when they struggled to access funding for their computer programming and coding course. Together, they founded Chapter Global to help IT students access coding skills without financial struggles. Chapter Global is a deferred tuition payment service provider. We started off by offering income share agreements, which is basically allowing someone to learn fast, then pay later once they're earning, hence the name income share. But over time and with experience in the market, we've now gone ahead and expanded the options. So not just income share agreements, but also now flexible payments. We're seeing that uh, the economy is not doing uh, too well and you know, some of the parents might be struggling to even afford the upfront fees for their students. So how can you break it down and assist schools to be able to do that? So basically chapter six interfaces students and schools. To make Chapter Global successful, they started off with a coding school where they offered the courses and funded interested students. Today, Chapter Global has diversified and is now working with some of the established coding schools in the country. We didn't just want to build the infrastructure and use it within our own school. Our mission is to support as many other young Jesses and serials out there in Kenya and in Africa. Mm -hmm. So how do we do this? Doing it within your own school is not as scalable as forming a company that interfaces with so many other schools and you're able to support me, way more students that way. Mm -hmm. A student comes in, uh, depending on the agreement we have with the school, uh, they'll pay a certain up upfront amount. So a school will say, we want our students to pay 20%. Yes. Then the remaining amount, they'll study, graduate, then pay back only when they're earning. So the, the beauty about an income share agreement is there's no debt element. If you as a student took up an income share agreement and you're not uh, earning, then you don't pay back anything. To achieve these, Chapter Global has an online platform where interested students enroll and directly get access to coding schools of their choice. When the deal is struck, the venture takes a payment of the remaining balance. We try to get schools that have high performance at least uh, and uh, we started off with top coding schools. In terms of schools, uh, we'll definitely have to vet your numbers in terms of graduate outcomes and uh, employment outcomes because now we want to partner with schools with uh, quite high performances. Once the enrollments come in, now we have uh, um, a structure where now those students are directed to our portal. Uh, you're given a sort of like a magic link, comes into your, our portal, uh, sign up, then now we start with the vetting process. So you'll just be asked to submit your educational uh, documents, uh, maybe tell us about your experience and also your, your financial statements, your credit profile and your MPESA statements. Then we, we communicate the, the, the feedback to you and to the, and to the school. So far, Chapter Global is working with two top coding schools in Kenya. The venture aims to diversify into other disciplines to help as many needy students as possible. We've worked with three schools so far, but currently we just have two uh, still within the coding uh, school space. We have Moringa School and Zindua School. We've seen so many young guys come in and even get employment before they even graduate. And this is someone who could not have afforded that, that particular program. In terms of um, contracts offered, I think we've done about 200 so far. And you can see the limited number of schools we have. Jesse hopes that more more ventures will take up this model and help Kenyan and indeed African youth to access skill-based courses for a better future. Currently, we are the only ones in Kenya, uh, purely service-based uh, company offering you know flexible payments and income share agreements to schools. In Africa, I think we have two other players. There's one in Rwanda, another one in South Africa. But the beauty is we're now even looking at ways we can partner and uh, offer ISAs together as a, as a group. Edward Choya. Made in Kenya.
Citizen TV. Made in Kenya. Brought to you by Equity. Are you members of a Chama and require financial boost for your business? Get Pamoja Group loan of up to 10 million shillings at any Equity branch. You will also receive free financial and entrepreneurship training on how to manage your business. Achieve your business goals with Pamoja Group loan.